a hell of a lot of shots that I would play will go in the water here. <laughs> Right down the flag. Go in! What has that just done? What happens when a golf professional with only one golf club takes on a self-proclaimed bad golfer with all 14 clubs? Well, we're going to find out. This is John from Bad Golf YouTube channel. He's going to take all 14 clubs and I'm only going to take the one which we've come to the conclusion of being a seven iron. I'm gonna hit every single shot with this. So we're gonna play off scratch. There's gonna be no shots allowed. We'll see how many holes we play. We'll play match play to keep it nice and simple. What's your policy on swearing? <laughs> we don't normally, but... <laughs> Have you got a bleeping sound effect? Do we need one? Uh, I think you might do. Okay. Right, let's get a nice seven iron. Oh my God. So that wow. is a pretty nice seven iron. If you are new to the channel, I normally hit my seven iron around 170 yards, give or take. And on a day like this, it's going to be max 170. And if you've never watched a bad golf before, I usually hit my driver about 50 to 100 yards, depending <laughs> on whether it gets above the floor. <laughs> Down the fairway, in play, advantage John. The question is, have you hit a seven iron further than I've hit a driver? Because I haven't hit a driver that well in a while. I mean, wow. Well, the good news, you hit it past me. I did. By a substantial amount. Oh, I just out drove Rick Shields. It's, uh, <laughs> sorry about this, Rick. You'll, you'll get up to the standard eventually. <laughs> well, sorry, has anybody binoculars to see my ball? Look how far Johnny's passed. Wind, get off it. That's okay. Not perfect, but it's okay. So, because it is so wet, you can mark it, clean it, put it back down again. Preferred lies. And we'll do it anywhere on the golf course because it is a considerably wet day today. What, I can put it anywhere on the golf course? <laughs> You're next to your tee peg that you marked it with. 193. Okay. There's no way I'm getting anywhere near that. Nope. So I'm just going to try and hit something that gives me a, like a wedge to the green. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. If, uh, if I win, do I get like an I Beat Rick Shields t-shirt? Like you get if you finish those massive stakes. <laughs> so I'm 85 yards. 90 yards, probably play more into wind. Obviously, I've only got the seven iron, so a little half swing. Oh, I didn't hit that well. Go! Currently not on the green after three shots. <laughs> Advantage, John. He's opened the door. <laughs> I can't believe every part of me is desperate to ask you for tips. <laughs> not in this time. video, not in this one. You're playing for all the bad golfers around the world who want to beat me. All the shankers and the duffers. <laughs> oh, hello. Break. Be good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. You need to rename your channel. That feel like one of those moments where you're like, I just hit a proper golf shot. I actually felt that a divot went in the air. That's what pros do. He's done well so far. <laughs> he looks very, uh, very pleased with himself. Do you, want, do you want, hang on, I'll just show you the proof so that we don't have any, uh, any suggestions. So this is my, that's my handicap there. There you go. That's, uh, that's two years worth of games. Every game's gone in that. John is at a massive advantage. He's not putting on these greens yet though, and they are quite undulating. And maybe a different speed to what he's used to. Par opportunity. Oh, and he puts with his glove on. Yeah. You know what? He is definitely a 23 handicapper. <laughs> he looks at the hole when he puts. Racy. Oh. Were you looking at the hole when you put that? As you can see, it's absolutely revolutionized my pace <laughs> control. <laughs> oh, I need that. that. 
You can tell that way. That's in for six. This put to win the hole. Agonizingly close. The match stays all square. We go to the next hole. So you want to you want to kind of veer to the left slightly again for your little fade. Perfect. I love it being called a fade. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Can I, is it possible to just get the sound of you hitting a seven iron as a ringtone? <laughs> <laughs> just listen to that on a loop all night. <laughs> It'll work. So I've hit my drive. That's like, I'd say like half of my drives are like that. Low, skiddy, just about came in. So I'm ended up in the rough. I'm about 50 yards short of Rick's 7-iron. Oh, hello. That's all right. Oh, might have found a bunker, but it's green side. I once spent seven shots in a bunker. Oh, mate. It's all right. I thought it was going to go big for a second then. It's all good. Not only can I not play shots like that, I never get to play with people who do hit shots like that. <laughs> so the good news, you're not in the bunker. No. You've cleared the bunkers. You're not the biggest fan of bunkers, are you? They're a huge fan of me because I, I hang out with them so much. We get to know each other really well. That's not bad. So that, even though that's gone, what, 20 foot past, I'm so happy with that. You're putting for par. Ah, oh, no. John to put next for par, and I'm now putting for par, which is annoying. Mm. Uh-oh. So is this for the half? Oh man. <laughs> Flag in still? Yeah. Oh mate. Whole half in fives. So I never thought I'd be saying this. I'm all square with Rick Shields after two holes. Yes, I've got 13 more clubs at my disposal but I honestly didn't think I would be doing this well. John significantly outdriven me here on the third hole. Significantly. And I am absolutely going to take a photo of this. And when the story is retold, Rick will have absolutely smashed his driver. <laughs> <laughs> 1001, 1002, 1003, 1000. Oh, I'm just gonna give up. Let's call it about 1000. You know, you know, he's a comedian, can't you? He's a. Uh, oh, yeah, we should point out I'm a comedian. Yeah, he's a professional comedian, not only a professional bad golfer, a professional comedian. Oh, there we go. First little glitch. First not great shot there, John. Uh -oh. That's what I'm used to. I feel sort of at home now. Oh, nice hello. A two putt from John here would be incredible. I like top that. <laughs> that was literally a topped seven iron putt. Both now putting for bogey. Take it away. Oh. 
Rick goes one up. Rick goes one up, well done. Oh, don't win the bunker. Ooh, up on the bank. Now, that might change everything. Are you going to go with 9-9? Nine, nine? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stick with the 9 I was, I was thinking about laying up then. <laughs> Can't lay up on a bad three. Hello. Oh, go on, go on. It looks good. Distance is massive. That's gone 30 yards too long. You sure you're not your six iron? <laughs> well, that's very frustrating. Compact, wet sand with only a seven iron to a green there. If that was me and I'd done that with a sand wedge, I'd be so happy with myself. How do we feel about lending me your seven iron? To do what? Oh, to play it the other way around? You can certainly try. <laughs> well, that's on the green. It's one way of doing it, but he shanked it onto the green. I think there's a harsh shank there. That was sort of placed. I'd say that's sort of placed on the green. I'm... Oh, you, you use the hosel to position it onto the green. I get you. <laughs> that's a nice shot, buddy. Thank you. I like that. Another par putt. It's what it's all about, bad golfers. Putts for par. Not sure how I feel about you looking at the hole when you put. Not sure how I feel about it now. <laughs> Take it away, double bogey. Rick Shields goes two up, just. <laughs> so if you don't know, John is a fellow YouTuber, set up a YouTube channel last year. Yep. Obviously full-time comedian, as you might have seen was mentioned before, but the golf channel is effectively about bad golf, right? Yeah, so, um... A friend of mine, another comedian, Alex Horn, who you might know from Taskmaster. We love golf and we love YouTube golf. We love your channel. We love Appreciate watching it. challenges. But we just never felt there was anyone quite as bad as us. <laughs> and we thought maybe there's, a, there's a, a niche for people who play like a lot of people play most of the time. Yeah. Experiencing different courses, getting the odd lesson. Um, we got invited to Glen Eagles. Nice. So you know, we had with the jacket on the little plug. Hashtag love Glenn. <laughs> oh, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but just to show that, you know, golf is for everyone. Great. And you don't have to be able to smash a drive 275 yards to enjoy golf. You don't have to be a member of a really fancy club. And to just try and put, like represent the average golfer on YouTube and, and we love bad it. Goal. I actually really enjoy just calling you a really bad golfer. Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely. One of the worst golfers ever to play. People watching this, there'll be a lot of people saying you're not because you're not. Well, I once 55 over is my record. <laughs> we got two par fives coming up, the fifth and the sixth hole. I'm currently two up. If the weather holds, we're going to play nine. Let's see what happens after these next two very testing par fives. Nice. Oh, there we go. And that is perfect. Nice recovery. Good shot. Thank you. That's the best shot I've hit all day. Oh, it's towed it. Uh-oh. Get down. Uh, it's not as bad as it could have been. Pin high, but off to the right. Oh, what a shot. Oh, 
Wow! Wow! <laughs> Where's that just come from? You saw that, right? Did you see it? So you got it. No matter how bad you are at golf, you've always got a shot like that in your locker, and that's why I love this game. I feel like a million dollars right now. I'm about to shatter your dreams though, John. What's this for? I've got this for par. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so horrible putting with a seven iron, right? I've got this to stay in the hole now. Um, you can have that, Rick. Don't worry, pick it up. You know, we said about that bleep machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. John wins the whole match. Just one up to Rick. So, John, this might be the word you've been waiting for me to say. It's your honour on this hole. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe First time today. Perfect. Taking on the tiger line. Oh well, yeah, no, I know, I know what I should have done, alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shot, John. That is good. <laughs> that is perfect. I don't get to feel like that very often. Oh, mate. Yeah, a bit close to the green I wanted, but it's, it's okay. John is about 110 yards away from the flag, maybe playing 115. Nine iron? It's gonna John be... Robbins, nine <laughs> iron. It's gonna be our old friend, the nine yeah, well, iron. It's again. gotta be, hasn't it? Oh, that, I don't mind that, mate. That is a beauty. Guys, um, I might need to leave to go and join the tour. So, <laughs> if you just finish up here. I'm gonna try and land it just past that post. That, I can do it too. I've got oh, the game. Mate. <laughs> I'll knock it in for par. For par. For birdie and to win the hole. Didn't move. Got it. Oh my God. He's got it. Half the hole mouth. with a par. Incredible. We continue on to the, probably the nicest hole, a little par three over water. And currently I'm still one up. This is the seventh hole. As you can see, it's over quite a substantial pond and stream. As a, as a self-proclaimed bad golfer, what do you think when you see a hole like this? Well, the first thing you think is that's beautiful. I feel like I'm uh, like in a tournament or on a computer game. Yeah. And then you suddenly start to interpret it and think a hell of a lot of shots that I would play will go in the water here. <laughs> a cheeky John Robbins right down the flag. Go in. Uh, what has oh. that just done? What has that just done? Honestly, I don't know what to, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm honestly convinced that went in and came back out. What? Oh my God. The hell. Seriously. Imagine if you'd have hold that. Well, <laughs> I would have watched the video five million times. <laughs> so I've got to hold it basically to win the, win the hole. Uh, this is a horrible, I've got to like tickle this in. Sit. Sit. Oh, that's a lovely shot. I mean, that's not bad. I'm not going to lie. 
probably not good enough though, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like usually when you hit, when I hit a shot like that, I think that's that far from the hole and you suddenly turn the corner and there's like six foot. But every time I move, it just stays there. It is super close. Honestly, this is outrageously close. Come and look. Oh my goodness. It's landed there. How it's missed the flag in the first place, that far away from a hole in one. Can you frame a video? <laughs> a hole, that close to a hole in one. Now, I'm happy to give it you, but I feel like it's only right you actually ha knock that in. Now, if Alex is watching this for the first time, he knows that anything is possible from here. <laughs> I actually can't, I'll, I'll do your pitch mark in a minute, don't worry. That's you, very you, kind. you knock that in. Six birdies in my life. Oh, take it away. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> take it away. All oh. square. All square. Three, seven holes. Wow. What a birdie. And then he found an absolute bullet. Oh, what the Oh, and a deer. I've never seen that on this golf course. Have I got some kind of magic swing on me today? Par birdie, bullet straight down the fairway on eight. And a <laughs> random deer. A magical deer skipped across the fairway. I think this might be a Disney film. <laughs> I can't hit it any better than that. Oh, great shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's my Pro V1 practice golf ball. Uh, Okay, I'll take a drop. I'm not in a good spot right now. So Rick was asked me in this tee shot of uh, the last hole, what a bad golfer feels when they look at a hole like that. This is your nightmare scenario as a bad golfer. Everything in my head is just going, water, 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 water. Ball's on dry land, prime position. And John is well and truly in the driving seat right now. Should be all right. I don't quite know what it- None of that sounded solid. No, it? it should be up there. Okay, retract that statement. It did hit something because it's just ended up here. <laughs> go, go. Not on the green yet. And that's one, two, drop for three, four, five shots so far. <laughs> That is a nice, safe golf shot. Yeah. Very nice. Good. Heart of the green. Good work, bud. Thanks, Perfect. Man. So, without being around the bush, this has got to go in. This is for a six. I have to go for it. No good, it's too hard. I'm done with this hole. Oh, good. <laughs> take it away. Thank you. Right, John, you've got about seven putts here to win. <laughs> Lovely roll, sir. Good five, sir. Well done. Last hole, par three. John Robbins, one up. So here we are, final hole. Par three, ninth here at the Marriott Worsley Park. It's 145 yards, probably playing a tiny bit longer. John, you're in the driving, driving seat, you're one up. I can't, I can't believe it. I mean, there have been a couple of shots I've played which I think anyone watching would go, that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> the, near hole in one, the near hole in one. The near hole in one. <laughs> but um, this is the best I've this is the best I've ever played, and we're going to have to leave the course after nine holes. Oh, there we oh, go. That's gone to the right and found the bunker. Come down soft. Come down soft. Oh, it's massive. <laughs> I've airmailed it through the green. On the green, it's almost certainty you're going to win the match. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I got it out. I was actually quite pleased with that. <laughs> Bump and run with a seven iron and get it nice and close. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, luckily for John, I think it is luckily, uh, the bunker that he went in is ground under repair at the moment as they're doing some drainage work. As uh, John said, it's like the surface of Mars. <laughs> so he's taking a free drop. He's now on the grass. So he's got to play a little chip. I could swing back round. Nice chip. I hit with nice technique. Shots. Nice technique. Comes down to this ninth hole. John has got this for bogey. If he holds it, I have to hold my putt and the match is halved. If he misses, I've got two putts to potentially halve the match. This is huge. This is it. It's all come down to this. All those hours of training, all those, <laughs> all those stand up gigs. It's come down to this putt. It looks good. Oh, it's not got the legs and it's moving off. Okay, Rick. All of those rounds, all of those thousands of Pro V1s just hit off the side of that cruise ship that you've got <laughs> into the Mediterranean. That mountain of tight lists come down to this one moment. Trying to put a seven iron on a cold day in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this has to drop or at least go super close. It's uphill slightly left to right, is it? Yeah, perfect. Oh, he's left it short. You can have that. It was that. terrible put that, to be fair. I'll lock it in. That is a four. And that means I win that hole and the ha match is halved. You know what? I asked on the tee, what happens when a golf pro with one club takes on a bad golfer with 14 clubs? And the result is it's pretty even. Certainly when a bad golfer plays that good guys thanks for watching make sure you go subscribe to bad golf subscribe to rick shields channel make sure you like the video and i appreciate your time john it's been an absolute joy and i think we should do some more challenges later down the line definitely good work bro. good work that was bloody close <laughs>